hello everybody and welcome back to another video thank you so much for joining me here on the channel if you're new here hello my name is Lewa it's lovely to have you join us here for another video and to the family and the regulars thank you so much for joining me back for another video I appreciate you all so much If you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to our channel and of course give this video a big thumbs up on the way in and follow us on our social media platforms on Instagram and on Facebook and don't forget to join us on the family on the LV website today's video of course judging by the title is about etiquette today as Papua New Guinea enters the global stage more and more and as we're so visible to everyone around the world young people it is critical now is the time more than ever to invest in etiquette not only to invest time into understanding what etiquette is but also learning how to use it in your everyday life etiquette can be categorized into three major categories manners of hygiene manners of courtesy and manners of cultural norm there are also different types of etiquette, which include workplace etiquette, table manners and meal etiquette, professional and business etiquette, communication etiquette, and meetings etiquette. You might be asking yourself, what are the benefits of good etiquette? And why do I, as a young person, need to invest time, money, resources, and even just brain power to learn about etiquette? Well, I can tell you that there are so many benefits to having good etiquette. In fact, the benefits are effective and not only effective, they are so powerful in your growth as a young person, which also can change your trajectory to success in so many different ways. Here are the benefits of having good etiquette. One of the first benefits of etiquette is first impressions matter. Your first impression is going to leave a lasting impression on the person or the people that you come across. Good etiquette can introduce yourself without you even opening your mouth to speak. If you leave a positive impression on someone or a group of people, you will most likely benefit from that greatly. Having good etiquette also makes your communication clearer. You're less likely to be misunderstood when you are clear in your communication and you can definitely do that by having good etiquette. Having good etiquette also leads to having stronger and higher quality friendships. Because in friendships, if you practice good etiquette, you are most likely to be very respectful and people will appreciate that, especially people of high quality. As you get older and as you invest more time into yourself, your career, your goals and your business, and of course, just the environment and the people that you surround yourself with, this becomes critical. You will want to form stronger friendships and friendships of high quality, and you can achieve that by practicing good etiquette in your friendships. Another benefit of having good etiquette is creating positive opportunities for yourself. When you practice good etiquette, it is most likely that people around you and people that you may not even know are watching are going to notice you. Just by having good etiquette, you will stand out above the rest. And what does this mean? This could bring forth positive opportunities, great opportunities, a step in the door, the opportunity that you have been waiting for, for that job, to start your business, whatever it may be, even if it's to find a lifetime partner. You will notice that as you practice good etiquette, people will notice you. They will want to know who you are and they will be intrigued by you. They will want to find out more about you and also they may want to work with you. There are norms to business etiquette no matter where you go in the world. And it is important as a young person that you take some time to learn these etiquettes. Things like hygiene, how we dress professionally, verbal and non-verbal communication, such as body language, and of course, everything I've just mentioned before. Etiquette like this is non-negotiable and is universal, meaning that if you were going to go to a corporate place anywhere in the world, whether that be Asia, Europe, in the United States, or even in the Asia Pacific region, you will find that non-negotiable universal etiquette is practiced in these corporate places. And people that are highly successful in this space will practice this etiquette daily. In fact, a lot of these successful people in the corporate environment 
attribute a lot of their success to even knowing what these etiquettes are and learning to use them when needed in the corporate space. Learning and understanding this business etiquette and using it in your everyday life can assist you with becoming successful. You would have seen on the international news that Papua New Guinea has been blessed to be graced by two very important people in the world. The Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, and the Secretary of State of the United States of America, Anthony Blinken. You can see from the world news coverage just how these leaders carried themselves and equally important, how their teams carried themselves as well. No doubt you can see they displayed good etiquette and their teams did so as well. This example of these world leaders and their teams using good etiquette is telling you that by using good etiquette, especially on the global front, and especially where you are in a position to influence or you are aspiring to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing, good etiquette and practicing good etiquette in your everyday life is a powerful way to make a statement without even speaking. This is also why etiquette is a crucial part of diplomacy. As I continue to say, young people, this really is about charting our future and learning to preserve the past. We are so blessed with people and resources, an abundance of resources, but really our people and you as young people, we need to invest in ourselves and we need to invest in the things that will help us grow. Etiquette is one of them. Don't forget, if you haven't registered for your etiquette classes, if you haven't registered for a coaching session with me, all the links are down below in the description box. Click on the link and register yourself now. Here on LV, when we talk about charting the future while preserving the past, we are simply saying that yes, there is a lot of non-negotiables universally that we have to abide by and adopt and be flexible to and adapt ourselves to, but we don't need to lose ourselves. We don't need to lose the positive values and cultural norms that we have that we can be grounded in to succeed in life. I hope young people you can see how critical, how important good etiquette is. I've run through examples of what etiquette is. I've also gone through the different types of etiquette and I've also shown you how important etiquette is in the corporate environment and you can also see most recently in the world news and as I've mentioned here how critical good etiquette is on the world stage and how important it is for diplomacy. This is why us as young people, you as a young person watching this right now, needs to invest in your etiquette. And so I thank you so much for joining me back here on the channel for another video. I am so excited to be back again into a routine. Don't forget coaching class links are down below. Click on the description box and of course press the link and register yourself because I do want to see you in the coaching sessions. Don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and on Instagram and of course join the wider LV family on our website. Go ahead and join the mailing list so you don't miss out and of course I cannot wait to see you back here for another video. Do take care and I will see you back in the next video. Bye for now.